So I've gotten tons of questions lately from new Forerunner owners. Congratulations, guys, by the way. Welcome to the family. That's super cool. Uh, tons of questions from them asking, dude, what are the first five-ish things, usable things, that you would buy for your Forerunner if you had to do it all over again? Now, all five of the products, aside from one of them, which you'll understand why, and the bonus will be linked down in the description along with their install videos. A quick disclaimer, they are affiliate links. Don't worry, I don't pocket all the money. I basically throw it all back into the YouTube channel and what we're saving up for, lift kit and wheels for that thing. So these are in no particular order, but number one on the list are these. Canvas back cargo liners. Now, what sparked me to do this video right now is I just vacuumed this. This thing was littered with husky hair, littered with uh, rocks and stuff from going to Home Depot, uh, mulch, all that crap. All I did, put the vacuum on it, came right up uh, besides that little hair. But look, that hair is gone now. Go to the beach, sand in this stuff. It doesn't go down to your carpet below. You just pull it up. It does pull up your carpet just ever so slightly if you do pull up the Velcro. However, you're able to just put that carpet back down. So it's not like it rips the car the carpet up. Now, another thing, if you're off-roading your vehicle, all of these products go hand in hand together. So number two is gonna be these Rhino straps right here. These things are thick. I don't know how many friends they've saved and it's about 25 feet long. This thing, the, worth the money 100% if you're gonna be off-roading. Another thing to coincide with that is their hitch down here. So this is a D-ring hitch. Uh, it's actually saved this rear end from a car accident, actually. The Audi didn't fare too well. Uh, <laughs> however, the D-ring hitch has helped out with that. And then along with these D-rings in the front. Now, they are only attached to the little tow hooks, basically, on there, but I've used these to yank friends out and stuff, or they've used it to yank me out from being stuck in mud, and they've been perfectly fine. There's no cracks or anything like that on my actual recovery point or strap down point. All three of those basically tied in one, just basic, simple recovery gear. The next thing for me is window tint. 100% have to have window tint. Now, I like my stuff dark. This is 5%. No matter what percentage you guys get, please, 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 make sure you get full ceramic because you could get a cheap film that's 5%, 15%, whatever it may be, but it's not gonna do anything for you besides just shade the inside of your vehicle. UVs are still gonna penetrate through this stuff and heat up your interior. So no matter what you get, make sure you get full ceramic tint. The next modification is super, super cheap, about 10 to 20 bucks, depending on their amount of quantity that they have. And there's a ton of other options on Amazon too. But this guy right here, the center console organizer, why Toyota doesn't come with this cheap little thing? Cause you just get this crevice right here that comes from Toyota. So all your stuff gets lost. You know, you're talking about small little GoPro mounts, glasses, uh, your fuse thing in case you have Raptor lights, anything like that in here, these tiny little items just would fall down there. So this hands down is 100% a must. And the install, that's it. <laughs> you, you literally just put it in there and then that is it and it's good to go. That by far is a huge, huge must. The last modification is the full LED treatment. So I've done all LED lights inside my vehicle. The halogens are okay, guys. So this, all this stuff isn't must-haves. It's just nice to do. Um, but these things are super, super bright. You can see it's flipping daylight out and look how much light that is putting onto my hand. These Yorkums that I put in, I just did an update video about them, zero issues, 10 bucks to basically do all of these lights and then $10 for the other dome lights and the hatch lights. So 20 bucks in total for the LED treatment. Including the LED treatment that I've done, I've done the tail as turn mod, allows your blinker right here to become your brake light. So this will flash as your blinker, now allowing you to have a reverse light here and a reverse light there for huge output. To finish up the LED treatment, I have Last Fit, well actually I have Bolsa lights in right now. I'm gonna be putting Last Fit LEDs, their new ones in, but I have Last Fit LEDs here, LEDs down here for my fogs as well, and super bright, the Oxbeam F16 series right here, very, very bright. Now for the bonus guys, and this by no means is cheap. It's about 300 bucks and that's the Pedal Commander. The, the Forerunner is great. Uh, if you don't weigh this thing down with 
the whole overland setup, right? This, this motor gets up and goes. However, I was like super spectacle about uh, that whole pedal commander system. Had it in for almost a month now. Freaking love it. It is, it is incredible. City 4 is my uh, go-to right now with that thing. And the wife has gotten used to it and she loves it too. The forerunner the is very peppy now and uh, no difference that I've noticed really in miles per gallon. So guys, those are my five plus a bonus, uh, some necessary, like really necessary. And then the other ones, just depending on your taste. Some honorable mentions are definitely uh, floor mats. If you don't have rubber floor mats, I highly recommend it. Do not buy them at the dealership, please. They charge the crap out of them. I have Toyota OEM ones that I bought on Amazon for about a hundred bucks and the dealership wanted almost double that. Husky liners, WeatherTech, any other brands, you know, definitely good to go. Uh, if you're gonna be actually overlanding your vehicle or you don't have a truck, I also highly recommend a roof rack as well. Uh, nice and flat as opposed to the curved stuff. So if you have to throw plywood on your vehicle, do anything house renovation wise, lumber, anything like that, a roof rack is flipping awesome. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. If this video helped you out, help me out, smash that like button. I appreciate it and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.